Okay, so if you are going to do off-grid living, you need to be adaptable and um, make as many plans as you want. But your plans will mean nothing whatsoever. Whatever you plan on doing for the day, okay, not going to happen. Um, there are always immediate needs um, that jump up, okay, and that will stop your plans. Um, that is the beauty of off-grid living. Um, if you don't, if you want to have a life where you can make plans, then you need to not be in an off-grid living kind of situation. Um well, also, when I say that, okay, there's an exception. See, we hear the beeping right there, okay? It's the fifth time tonight that the power has um, gone out, all right? Um, what have I done? Turn the air conditioner on. Um, so, um, God, what was I saying? This is something. Um, don't make plans because your plans will never work out. Oh, um, like for instance, you know, like there was the day that I was going to redo the, um, the solar um, and then I got stopped by not, or, you know, I, I couldn't finish doing it because the dogs decided to run away. Um, so I spent that entire evening looking for the dogs and the dogs just showed, showed up at four o'clock in the morning. Um, so then I was like, all right, well, so today is going to be all about security. Um, so I started working on my fence and I spent that entire day working on fencing and I got about maybe 60% of one acre fenced in. Okay. Um, which is great. That was some progress. Of course, 40% of it still being unfenced, um, means that there's no value to it whatsoever. Um, so, you know, then I decided, well, you know, I still need to work on that stupid power crap. So I go back to the power. Of course, the dog still can walk out. Um, so having to keep eyes in the back of your head at the same time. Um, and then it decides to rain. So who cares about the solar when it's raining? Okay. But you do need water and you've been digging this well and this well has not yet, um, produced any water yet. So, so that rain up there, that's coming down right now. All right. It would be great if you could catch some of that. And so then you run on out to this stupid little pool that you've got going over here that you haven't been able to fill with water because it hasn't rained in the past like month um and you've got plastic over it to try to prevent evaporation um anyway you tie it up here okay and you try to make a big thing where you can catch water and it'll all flow into there but of course the sag almost always right is in the middle so all the water begins to form in the middle which means it's either going to rip itself up and out of the pool or down out of that tree and you will have caught no water whatsoever even though you spent the better part of that whole day in the rain um trying to build support structures for your stupid plastic tarps and searching for your staple gun staple gun another essential thing to have out here um anyway so that is what off-grid living is like. Um, it's actually really kind of still good though, okay? Um, I'm never bored, never. I have no boredom whatsoever. Um, and uh, let's see here, I'm learning, I'm learning about everything and um, it means that I get to appreciate everything. And it also means I can fix almost everything. Um, and I mean, you know, project management skills. So if you want to go on and do a career job anywhere in any kind of company, okay, mention off-grid living, okay, and then talk about it in business terms, which are project management, um, skills development, um, learning uh, time management. Um, let's see here. Risk assessment. Um, team building, yeah, all kinds of, uh, like this should be a corporate camp right here. And before anybody can be a company president of some place, they have to come out here for a, a, a month and then they, you know, can run a team because they actually had to work and do stuff with all kinds of constant shit going on. 
anyway, talk to you later, okay? Um, that point of this video, okay, was adaptability.